Earthquakes are earth surface vibrations and ground shaking that occur as a result of tectonic plate movement. The Earth's crust breaks into several large tectonic plates that float on the semi-liquid mantle beneath them. Earthquakes are mostly caused by the movement of these plates. When they move on top of each other, tremendous pressure occurs. At some point, the plates slip, releasing energy in the form of seismic waves, which we know as an earthquake. Even slight movements can cause significant damage if the earthquake occurs in a densely populated area and or the ground conditions amplify the seismic waves. There are a few areas in the world that are more likely to experience earthquakes than others. The Pacific Ring of Fire, the San Andreas Fault in California, and the Alpine Himalayan Mediterranean Belt. A volcanic eruption is the process of a volcano throwing hot debris, ash, and magma outpouring onto the Earth's surface from deep within the planet, which pouring out onto the surface becomes lava. Volcanoes are caused by the internal dynamics of the Earth. When underground molten rock, magma, moves through cracks in the Earth's outer layer, lithosphere, and reaches the surface of the Earth's crust, a volcano is created. As the magma rises upward, it loses gases and water vapor and becomes lava, a gas-depleted magma. The gases that are released when a volcano erupts are flammable, so they ignite and explode in the volcano's vent. The force of the explosion of a volcano can be so powerful that a huge funnel, caldera, remains in the place of the mountain after the eruption. And if the eruption continues, a new volcano begins to grow right in this cavity. Volcanic eruptions are geological disasters that can lead to the declaration of a state of emergency. A tsunami is a hazardous natural phenomenon, which is a sea wave generated mainly as a result of shifting upward or downward of extended areas of the seabed during underwater and coastal earthquakes. Huge volumes of water thrown ashore lead to flooding of the area, destruction of buildings and structures, power and communication lines, roads, bridges, piers, as well as to the death of people and animals. An air shock wave extends in front of the water berm. It acts similarly to a blast wave, destroying buildings and structures. The natural warning signal of a tsunami is an earthquake. Before it begins, usually the water recedes far from the shore, exposing the seafloor for hundreds of meters or even several kilometers. This ebb can last from a few minutes to half an hour. A landslide is a sliding of masses of soil and rocks down the slopes of mountains and ravines, steep banks of seas, lakes, and rivers under the influence of gravity. The causes of a landslide are most often the washout of the slope, its overwetting by heavy rainfalls, earthquakes, or human activity, blasting, etc. The highest rate of shifting of a landslide is observed during an earthquake. Sliding masses of soil can cause destruction and rubble of residential and industrial buildings, engineering and road structures, main pipelines and power lines, as well as damage and loss of life. Signs of an impending landslide are jammed doors and windows, water seepage on landslide-prone slopes. A hurricane-slash-typhoon-slash-cyclone are all destructive storms, but there are a few key varieties among them. Cyclone is a general term for a large storm system that rotates around a center of low atmospheric pressure. These air masses produce rain, wind, and lightning. Storms that occur over tropical or subtropical waters are called tropical cyclones, and they are some of the strongest storms on Earth. Hurricane is the regional name for a strong tropical cyclone that forms in the North Atlantic, Central North Pacific, or Eastern North Pacific. Meteorologically speaking, typhoons are identical to hurricanes. The biggest difference is the location of their origin. Typhoon is the name given to tropical cyclones with sustained winds in excess of 74 miles per hour that form over the Northwest Pacific Ocean. Typhoons have the potential to be stronger than hurricanes because they form over warmer water, and they affect East Asian countries such as Taiwan, Japan, China, and the Philippines. A tornado is a strong, small-scale atmospheric whirlwind of up to about 3,280 feet in diameter, in which air rotates at speeds of up to about 328 feet sec, with great destructive power. It usually occurs in a thunderstorm cloud and often spreads to the surface of the ground. A tornado has the shape of a column, sometimes with a curved axis of rotation, 
with funnel-like expansions at the top and bottom. The air in a tornado rotates anti-clockwise and spirals up at the same time, pulling dust, water, and various objects from the ground. A tornado does not last long, from several minutes to several hours, traveling from hundreds of meters to tens of miles. A blizzard is a severe snowstorm characterized by strong, sustained winds and low visibility, lasting for a prolonged period of time, typically at least three or four hours. A ground blizzard is a weather condition where snow is not falling, but loose snow on the ground is lifted and blown by strong winds. Blizzards can have an immense size and usually stretch to hundreds or thousands of miles. The effects of blizzards can result in buildings being buried under snow, interruption of communications, and disruption of normal human life. Blizzards create snowdrifts and slides on roads and require special snow defense measures. Blizzards are especially strong in northern Eurasia, North America, Antarctica, and the Arctic. Heat is the state of the atmosphere in a particular area, characterized by hot, sun-heated air. In meteorology, a heat wave is a prolonged rise in air temperature of plus 95 degree F or more. During summer periods of elevated temperatures, there is usually an increase in mortality among the elderly, hypertensive, and critically ill. Elevated temperatures also have a negative impact on the performance of healthy people, making daytime work inefficient. On hot days, it is important to follow the recommendations that will help to improve well-being, remain able to work, and avoid serious health problems. Floods are significant inundations of an area resulting from rising water levels in a river, reservoir, or lake. Floods are caused by heavy precipitation, intensive snowmelt, and the breach or failure of dams and dikes. It is not possible to prevent them entirely, either now or in the near future. Floods can only be attenuated or localized. Floods can occur suddenly and last from a few hours to two to three weeks. Floods cause destruction of bridges, roads, buildings and structures, cause significant material damage, and in case of high water velocities, more than about 13 feet s, and high water heights, more than about 6.5 feet, cause the death of people and animals. A drought is a prolonged period during which precipitation is less than normal. A drought can last for days, months, or years. Droughts result in a shortage of water needed for human life and or economic activities. Other consequences are dust storms when drought affects an area suffering from desertification and erosion, habitat damage affecting both terrestrial and aquatic animals, famine, drought provides too little water for food crops, mass migration, and others. The longest drought in recorded history started 400 years ago in the Atacama Desert in Chile and still continues. A wildfire is a natural fire which is interpreted as an uncontrolled burning process that spontaneously arises and spreads in the natural environment. The main cause of forest fires in 88, 98% is mankind. Wildfires have a devastating effect on forest stands, pollute the atmosphere and water with combustion products, threaten settlements and various objects. In addition, smoke from large and mass forest fires destabilizes road, rail, air and river traffic the forest sector of the economy causes various allergic reactions in people, respiratory diseases, etc. Extreme temperatures. On all continents of the Earth, except Antarctica, the maximum temperature value can exceed 122 degree F. Extreme heat in any climatic zone is established during a summer anticyclone, which is unusual in location and duration. Dangerous consequences of it. Heat leads to desiccation, Increase of fire danger in forests, steppes, peat bogs, shallowing of navigable rivers. Rivers and lakes dry up. People and animals die. Infectious diseases occur, etc. Extreme frost. Maximum air temperature minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit and below. Extreme frosts in the temperate zone are established in anticyclonic weather. Dangerous consequences of severe frosts. Paralyzing the life of cities. Destructively affecting crops increasing the probability of technical accidents. At temperatures below minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit, the brittleness of machine parts increases significantly. Frostbite, death of people and animals, hinder the work of industrial enterprises, various utilities. An impact event is the collision of a large meteorite, asteroid, comet, 
or other celestial body with Earth or another planet or satellite. This collision usually results in the formation of a crater. Impact events can be very destructive as they can cause fires, earthquakes, or tsunamis. According to some theories, it was the largest impact events that caused large-scale extinctions. Big space objects with a diameter of more than about 0.62 miles threaten mankind with a clear global catastrophe in case of collision with the Earth. Comparatively smaller objects also pose a serious threat to Earth, as the shockwave and heating when falling near populated areas can cause significant destruction commensurate with the damage caused by an atomic explosion. Solar flares are powerful and rapidly developing local processes on the sun that release significant energy. Their development time is a few minutes and their decay time is a few hours. The flares occur in the region of active zones surrounding sunspots, most often between sunspots with opposite magnetic polarities. They are caused by abrupt local changes in the state of the magnetic field and plasma of the chromosphere and especially of the corona, occurring during the emergence of new or evolutionary changes in the existing magnetic fluxes. All this leads to a thousand-fold increase in plasma density and an unusually strong temperature rise. It is the solar flare activity that is responsible for changes in the state of near-Earth space.